Okay, so now after performing the star aligner and generating the BAM file, what is the next step is to sort the BAM file uh, from the unsorted form. So for that, what you have to do is just use the the SAM tools command that is sort, right? For example, here what you need to write here is SAM tools. SAM. Oh, sorry. Uh, SAM tools sort and then write the the then uh, mention the place where the file is actually present that is in the uh, uh, the same folder where we actually saved our output file in the last step in the step number five and that is here in the BAM file. BAM files, the file name is output. I believe aligned. Yeah, this is the this is the file name, right? So after writing this, now you need to save it somewhere. So output again. Let's say we are saving it in another folder with the name of uh, not sorted BAM file. Maybe this. Yeah, sorted BAM, right? So here we are saving the file with the name output underscore sorted dot bam right so you just have to enter that so now uh, it will take a little bit of time here for example it will separate uh, this uh, file into different clusters and then it will sort the file and then it will share if I go here and I'll show you for example here in the data e with a sorted file yeah this one right Okay, so this one output sorted temporary 00, output sorted temporary 001, 0002, 0003, 0004. So it's actually temporary making multiple files and then it will uh, generate a sorted file, uh, BAM sorted file, right? So the, the simple command is the sort command, right? In the previous step, what we did was uh, we actually using the star, we generated the BAM file that was actually unsorted. So now using the SAM tools. So what you have to do is to install SAM tools. If you haven't installed it, it has a lot of different functionalities. This is just one example of SAM tool to sort the sort this BAM file. But SAM tools has a lot of different uh, other functionalities as well. So if you want to uh, use sample the first what you need to do is to install it so for you had just need to write the command uh, of uh, just find it from the uh, from Google and you can do it so now here you can see that BAM sort core merging from Krell files and one in in and one in memory block so so it first generated these 12 files you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the 12 files and after that it will merge it into a one output file and it will take a bit of time and uh, let's say that let's see that if we can if we can wait for a moment so we can complete it together else I will stop it and I'll show you the output later it seems that it's it's going to be done in a very short time now uh, mm -hmm. so I think this is the second last step most probably of the of uh, processing the RNA sequencing file starting from now you can see they're starting from the fast queue first you need to download the fast queue files and then from pass using the sra toolkit you can download it then from the fast queue files you need to check the quality of the fast queue file and if the file quality is poor you need to convert the 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 poor quality file by using trimming command and the trimming command will remove the poor quality sequences adapter sequences and then uh, the, the 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 trimmed fastq file is used for the for the rest of the analysis like uh, generate the bam file and from the bam file now now you here you can see that the, 
ram unsorted file is using the sam tool sort command is sorted into uh, what into one file that is a sorted one yeah here you can see that now the this is the output file all the 12 files are now merged into one permanent file that is the the file size is 1.2 gb so the last the next step what you need to do is to convert the sam tools into indexed sorted uh, sorry where it is yeah here sorted pam file output yeah this one so you just need to write it and when you write the index file so it will generate a bai index file along with the pam file and these two files will be literally can be used for here uh, wait a moment maybe it's take a slight of time but it should not take a lot yeah so now it has generated the index file now this is the bam index file of the sorted bam file so now these two files will be used for feature count or uh, to cal calculate the expression or the uh, the reads or the expression values of the genes so that would be do we will do in the next step so i think for now it is done it's very simple straightforward and now these files are ready for the expression analysis. Thank you.